Is it doing it? I think we're live now. Already? Okay. Yeah. My, I can't see my screen yet. Yay. It says live streaming on Facebook on my computer, not on my phone. I haven't gotten the notification yet on my phone though. Oop, my phone says we're up. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Lisa and Mandy here. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us today. We are going live in Lisa Zimmer Essential Oils Biz Tips Facebook group to teach you how to build a better business. So I'm Lisa Zimmer. I'm a doTERRA blue diamond. And my friend. Hi, I'm Lisa Zimmer's best friend, Mandy Johnson. <laughs> We plan ahead for this one. Actually, we did plan ahead for this one. We're both just really tired. <laughs> We've been working really hard on a lot of projects. We have a special <laughs> announcement coming up next week on a new project. Can't wait to share with you. And today, uh, Mandy and I want to talk about keeping your business simple. It yeah. seems like um, it doesn't matter what it is in doTERRA. Everybody likes to make things as complicated as possible. <laughs> And we've all done it, right? So we're not um, criticizing. I mean, we are criticizing, but we're criticizing because we want to help you stop doing that, right? That's when my business became sustainable and manageable, and I wasn't working myself to death was when I realized that it was all in the simple and just stop um, trying to control everything and stop trying to like do 50 million things to get one result, like keep it super, super simple. So I want Mandy to share a story with you um, because it's more effective when you can hear a real life situation for training. So we say keep it simple, but how? I tell you, most of your enrollments are actually going to come from one-on-ones if you're a product of the product and living the doTERRA lifestyle um, versus killing yourself. We teach classes, right? But if you're optimizing your skills and your business and living the doTERRA lifestyle, you're going to enroll a lot more people outside of the classroom setting. My last 10 enrollments, not one of them was from a class. Um, they've all been phone, email, text, running into someone at a store, um, whatever, right? I went back a little further to see when was the last one that I actually enrolled in person and it was um, number 11. <laughs> 11 enrollments ago, I actually enrolled a, a person in person. It still wasn't a class, it was one-on-one. -on -one. The point being, we wanna give you the words in these scenarios so that you can duplicate that and see just how simple it really is. So take it away with your awesome story. We're talking about, cause we got a lot of awesome stories. So, yeah. just so we're on the same page. We're talking yep. about the waitress, right? Waitress, yep. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, so um, if you guys follow me personally, you know that I've been sick the last couple of days, which means I've been slathered in doTERRA. Um, so probably not a good idea to come anywhere near me or my house if you don't like the smell of oils. Um, but my mother-in-law was in town this past weekend and my husband was convinced that I was not that ill and decided that he needed to drag me out uh, to go out to dinner with my mother-in-law which I love my mother-in-law, by the way, she's, uh, she's one of, one of my doTERRA customers. So, um, so we go out to dinner and I think I had, uh, immunity bomb on my feet and I had Melissa Copaiba and Rose slathered all over my neck because that's my new favorite, um, blend when we're ill because of the, uh, immune supporting properties of those oils, right? You guys know what I mean? Um, so I had these, these oils on my neck, which I don't particularly like the smell of Melissa. Copaiba is fine. And the rose, uh, straight, the five ML <clears throat> actually don't like the smell of that one too much either. So to me, I smelled horrible. Um, and I go to sit down at this table and the waitress comes up and she just goes, it smells amazing over here. And I, and my husband's like spraying the table down with on guard hand sanitizer and wiping it down for the kids. And he's like, Oh yeah, it's this, uh, this hand spray. And she's like, no, that's not the smell that I smell. I smell something else. It's like amazingly calm smelling. And for some reason, I just don't want to leave this area. It's unlike anything I've ever smelled. And I'm like, she likes the Melissa Copaiba rose. 
Um, you know, but in addition to those oils offering some really great immune supporting properties, we know that they're also very mood balancing, right? <clears throat> so immediately I thought, I wonder if she has any problems with like anxiety or, you know, anxious feelings, things like that, because we know that those oils can really help kind of balance out the mood. Um, so her and I got to talking a little bit back and forth. I was like, oh yeah, it's these oils I have on my neck, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, I've never really heard of essential oils that much. And you know, of course, the first thoughts in my head is like, well, have you been living under a rock your whole life? But um, you can't say that, right? That's not nice to say to people. So <laughs> um, she takes our order, she goes and does her thing. And um, at the end of the evening, when we left, I left her a trifold inside of the bill. So she brought us our bill, I paid, um, I left a trifold inside. I also left my business card inside. And on the back of the um, bill where I had signed to pay, I just left a note and said, um, if you're interested in learning more about essential oils, feel free to take a look at the trifold. Here's my phone number. Shoot me a text if you want more info, right? She already had my phone number. It was on my business card. It's also on the front of my trifold. But me writing it there and kind of giving that little like handwritten note to her gives that kind of permission based environment where she feels more comfortable contacting me. Right. And, um, she actually did wind up enrolling, not with Melissa Kapaiba and Rose, because that would be uh, a super intense first enrollment order, but we did get her enrolled and, um, I'm going to send her some of those items to try and experience and sample. I only sample people who are already enrolled. I don't sample people who aren't enrolled. Um, I love sampling my team so that they can experience more products. It helps to boost LRP and things like that. Um, but yeah, really simple, easy experience. And I would not have had the ability to have that conversation with her if I hadn't been slathered in those immune supporting oils when I went out to dinner. The point of the story being that um, it was simple, right? I kept my interaction with her simple. And uh, I was practicing being a product of the product. So I was using the products that I already know can have a great impact in my life and the lives of other people, which allowed me to be able to share with her. Um, so yeah, that's my story. Easy, easy lemon squeezy. And you had the tool, right? Yep. To leave with her. Because if you just left a business card, what would have happened? She has no information. No information. Nothing would have happened, right? Uh, waitress super busy, not the appropriate time to interrogate someone unless they're hanging around intentionally, right? You could have that, but it's a quiet time or, or whatever. You could have that and you could start doing your, you know, conversation and 60 second enrollment conversation to open doors and enroll someone right there, right? We've done that, but most cases, the server is not going to have the time to do that. So when you leave a tool that you can print at home for five cents and have them stocked in your purse and write a little love note on the front and say, hey, text me if you're interested, blah, 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 right? Whatever you said, keep it simple, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. And then tell me how you, when she reached out to you, tell me how simple your response was. Yeah, so she did wind up texting me later that evening and she was like, hey, I read the little brochure you left. Thanks so much for leaving your information. You're super sweet, whatever. Um, and then she's like, how do I get those oils that you had on? And I'm like, well, those oils that I had on are some of the most expensive oils we sell. And I'd really like to help maximize whatever money you're going to spend on doTERRA. And the best way to get you the most product most bang for your buck is to get you started with one of our pre-made starter kits because those kits are under wholesale pricing and you're going to be able to experience more products for less money, right? Perfect. So here's the options we have. Let me know which one you feel like fits where you'd like to get started. And then you kind of, there's like this bantering back and forth where I have this and I have that. Are there things in this kit for that? Yep everything that you need is going to be in this kit or this kit, right? I kind of start to like gear her down either like one or two instead of like the four or the five that we have, right? Oh, you have this, this kit or this kit would be the best one for you, right? Limit the amount of options. Again, simple, right? Keeping yeah. stuff really simple. She picked her kit. She got enrolled. Now she has 
oils coming to her that she's going to be able to use for hundreds of different things. I'm going to send her a couple of small samples of the oils that I had on so she can try those. And I guarantee she's going to have amazing results with those because we know that Melissa and Rose and Copaiba are very strong, powerful, high vibration oils that are probably going to be able to help her with a lot of the things she has going on. And then next month, when she can actually earn points on her order, right, Perfect. we're going to get her to maybe order some of those oils so she can start adding to her collection. Perfect. And so if you see what Mandy did, right, she did the 60 second enrollment process by text, right? Yep. She said, awesome. I can totally help you with that. I'm going to help you the best way. And then they started talking about what else she had going on. Yep. That kit's going to be for that. Why do we always, 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 always steer to a kit? Right? What if Mandy got her, uh, Melissa, Rose, and Kupaiba, and she spent 200 and some dollars on those three oils? And by some strange reason, they didn't do the one thing that she was hoping for, right? That used to happen to me, right? I'd start someone with slim and sassy, or I'd start someone with lavender, and it didn't do the one thing, right? I'm never going to hear from them again. Yep. And that's the beauty of an extra discounted premium starter kit. You see how that sounded fantastic? versus enrollment kit or membership kit, extra discounted, right? Premier starter kit or starter package or whatever. You're gonna have way more because they're gonna have 10 options or you know, it depends on what package you pick, right? For something to work, okay? For a cut, a wound, a headache, a stomach ache, sore feet, right? Rather than just one. And so it's, and you're going to save them more money. So we're, if we're always doing what's best for the customer, and we use our intelligence and our knowledge to tell them that's what they should do, right? She didn't say, oh, do you want this? Or do you want that? Or do you want this? Or do you want that? She said, here's what you should do. Right, because people don't know what to do. You need to tell them exactly what to do. Now, did you collect her information and then enter her enrollment yourself, or did you send her a link generator? Nope, I sent her a link generator. For cool. people like that where there's no pre-established relationship, I feel like it's kind of awkward to ask for their credit card information and things like that. So that's where I really like to utilize the link generator tool. But, you know, a friends of friends or people who I kind of know through somebody or, you know, have some established, you know, pre-existing relationship with them. They're usually fine, um, you know, with sending like either a picture of the card or texting it or whatever. And they'll just say, oh, delete this when you're done, whatever. And I'll go on my computer immediately and process the enrollment. So you could do it either way. Um, just make I sure you finish it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but link generator is a great tool for that. I don't ever send people to, you know, the doTERRA website that they have made for us, the my doTERRA slash whatever, because um, that's where people can really get lost in the pipeline. And there's, again, they're, they're now presented with too many options. When they click that to enroll, they're represented with all of the enrollment options again, right? And it goes back to that analysis paralysis, too much information, I'm paralyzed trying to analyze this, right? So link generator, you pick the kit, you pick the product, it's pre-made, you send it, and it's one option. They click to enroll, that's it. Yep, done. Now I um, use link generator, right? So this is a good example how different leaders can do things differently and still get the same result. So I do feel comfortable asking strangers because I enroll mostly strangers now, right? Someone will see a YouTube video and tell me they were flocked and want to know how to get started. And I will go ahead and say, okay, I'll go ahead and shall we go ahead and order that now? And we'll go ahead and we'll order it now. And I'll say address, phone number, et cetera. And the last thing I asked for is, it goes on credit or debit. You wanna go ahead and read that to me now, I'll take it down. So remember, right, 
you have to do what you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with that. Now, if they said no, I've never had that happen in 400 enrollments, but if they said no, um, then I would use link generator. No worries, I can just send you the link for that to click and link, right? Control the environment, control the setting. So everybody's different. We have people from, you know, obviously the people that call me have called me and because they felt compelled to call me and felt comfortable with me, right? Some sort of video they watched. Maybe they felt like they already knew me, which is why that's so easy for me. But if it's a complete stranger, right? And there's zero comfort level there for that information, use link generator. But either way, take it to the finish because you can't change your life if you don't get them enrolled, right? And so simple, simple, simple. Andy used her mouth, was covered in oils, left a trifold. <laughs> she got a text and she enrolled them. She didn't start telling them everything there was to know about doTERRA. She didn't say, well, let me send you some free stuff and delay the time in which I'm going to help you. She took care of it, got them enrolled right now, and now she's going to surprise, delight, educate, right? People don't need to be educated on doTERRA from A to Z to order the product. Right. There's all kinds of top leaders who never teach classes in person and never send, um, you know, samples for people to try first. And they enroll people all day long. Right. Yep. It's because they just show the lifestyle, tell people this is what you should do. Click here or call me and I'll take your information. Love that. Right. One of the top enrollers in doTERRA right now, I think. She's enrolled like what, 700 people or something this last year or more. And uh, there's no delay in her process. Mm -mm. Here's what you should do. Click here. Here's what you should do. Let's get you started with the starter kit. You want this one or this one? Let's go ahead and order that. Sound good. That's how simple your doTERRA business needs to be. So now I want to transition into, right? We want to always be planting seeds for the next step, okay? You don't have to talk about all the next steps, just as easy as it was for Mandy to plant that seed for getting the doTERRA, right, with the trifold. We do the same with the next step. So the next step is very simply getting people to share doTERRA and host the class, right? And so once she talks to this person, she'll be able to send them post this and growing trifolds, right? building a business. These used to come in every doTERRA enrollment kit. We used to get a living, sharing, and building booklet in every kit. It's how seeds were planted. And that's specifically why I chose the term growing doTERRA for our building trifle, because that's what you're doing. You're growing it. You're planting seeds. You're watering that seed, right? Let's share with others. Let's get you some free stuff. Let's share with others. Let's have a super fun class, DIY class. And then let's grow, right? But you have to do it in baby steps, folks. So um, if you don't know, we have the sharing hostess trifold. I think you used this already. I know I did, right? And it made my class super simple. Um, I didn't have to meet with my person. I just sent her this sent her blank trifolds for her to put her name on to hand out to people who couldn't come to our class. And she said, what do I do? And I said, follow your hostess trifold. Done. Yep. <laughs> there was no <laughs> hours and hours of talking, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> who has time for that these days? She doesn't have time for that. I don't have time for that. It tells her exactly what to do next, what the script is, what to say, what to text to people how to keep track of it. If they can't come, how do they order, right? How did you use that, Mandy? What was the parts that you used that was beneficial? Yeah, so I've actually taken basically all of that trifold. And I mean, this is, again, everybody has to do things in their own way that makes sense for their customers and their business, right? So this is my way that makes sense for me and the way that I have capabilities to do. And you have to make it your own. But I've basically taken that exact same information and I've put it into a hostess landing page. 
So anytime somebody wants to host a class, I send them the link to my hostess landing page and I say, great, I'm so excited that you're interested in hosting a class. Here's where you can learn what you need to do and how the class is gonna work. Um, let me know when you've decided a date and we'll lock that down. And when you go to my hostess landing page, they can download the hostess trifold there so they can print that out for themselves so they have all the information that they need. Um, then it walks them through step-by-step step what to do, right? So making the names list of people who they want to invite, gives them a script of what they can text or say to people who they want to invite. It tells them when they should be following up with people, follow up this day, at this point, this point, this point. You know, making sure that you're locking down RSVP so that we have a head count. Um, it's really clear to them what parts of the workshop are their responsibility and what parts are mine. I'll bring oils, I'll bring all of the, um, you know, tools that we need to be able to host the workshop. You're in charge of the space, making sure that I have a table, any food and drinks, that's on you, right? So um, as long as you go into anything in life with clear expectations with people, um, that's how things run more smoothly, right? So they need to know what they need to do to be successful and what is their part in this process? What's my part in this process? And how's everything gonna work, right? And that makes it easy for them to understand. And the trifold walks them through step-by-step step what to do, what they need to do, right? And it gives them a space even on there where they can make their names list and everything. So, um, yep. Easy peasy. So for those of you that are gonna say, oh, Mandy, can I have your landing page information? No, <laughs> trifold. Right? Mandy spends hours and hours and hours building landing pages and automated emails and whatnot, right? So this is where it's time to teach you how to do this stuff. So I don't do landing pages, right? Because I don't have the attention span like Mandy does to follow through on stuff. So I did mine by text, okay? And that's how simple it can be. And landing pages are awesome. Scott and I are learning how to do them. We've been inspired by Mandy to start doing them, right? But regardless of what level your technology is, you don't need us to give you the landing page or the emails. You just, it's so simple, folks. Are you ready? So you open your trifold. We're talking about the hostess and sharing trifold right now. You open it on your phone and you screen shoot each section, okay? So the first thing I sent to her was a screenshot of, I said, grab your trifold. She was at work, didn't have it in front of her and wanted to work on it. And I screenshot her the let's invite section and I sent it to her, right? Now I got all the screenshots saved in an album on my phone, hostess trifold screenshots, okay? So if they don't have their trifold with them, I can send her to screenshot. I didn't want to resend her the whole trifold again because I just wanted her to focus on step one. So I sent her a screenshot, let's invite. Okay, let's go ahead and get those peeps invited, right? And later I said, by the way, if people can't attend, here's how they can order it on your trifolds, right? And I reminded 90, her and sent her the checklist. 99% of the classes that I teach are not my contacts and people who I'm inviting to my own personal class. 99% of the classes that I teach are for customers who are in my downline somewhere. And how I do that is I reach out to people who I know are already loving doTERRA products, who probably want more products, right? And I'm searching for hostesses that way. Hey, Lisa, I noticed that you're on our rewards program. You seem to be really enjoying your doTERRA products. I wondered if you're interested in hosting a workshop with me where you could earn even more products for free, right? Oh yeah, that sounds great. Post is trifle, right? There you go. And then when that class is getting ready to end or that make and take is getting ready to end or that workshop's getting ready to end, you have to be able to present that opportunity to the other people who are in Lisa's workshop. Hey, if you guys had fun at this workshop today, I'd love to host something like this for your friends and family and you can earn free products just like Lisa did today easy, right? And then you're hosting classes from classes and that's what continues to help your business grow. The momentum. Once that ball gets rolling, if you're booking classes off of classes, right? Then you're, will never be looking for new classes to book or having to um, teach your own or struggle because you're constantly booking classes from classes. And if someone says um, at the end, yeah, I want to go ahead and book that class. Awesome. You just hand them the hostess trifold, right? Yep. And a 
couple blank living doTERRA trifolds or right and with your information on the front so if they do enroll someone it goes directly under you and you can talk about who gets that enrollment later like don't try to solve and converse about every single aspect of this business and how it works right when someone hosts the class you're not going to say oh great now you got to do your lrp card now you got to do 100 pv and like shut up already okay just get them like seriously just shut up and get them to step one get them to host the class and get the class on the books all right that segues into the builder trifold that we were talking about right mandy just gives them in her landing page i just give them in my text key points and we say check out your hostess trifold all the information's on there i'm gonna do this you're gonna do this right we don't talk about oh now you need to order samples on now you need to order drams now you need to order labels now you need to order class in a box now you need to no 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 these people are just hosting a class right just hosting a class that's it all you need to do is have a conversation with them and follow the I teach, I teach, we teach, you teach, right? So if that person decides they wanna share and build after that class, then the next conversation happens, right? Let's teach the next one together. Yeah. You do this part, I'll do this part. And then by the next class, they're ready to teach it and you'll be there to support them. On my mentoring calls, when I talk to people about placements, I hear from about 99% of you guys that you all say the same thing when you get on. First thing you say to me is, Mandy, I don't have any builders. The reason why we don't have any builders is because as soon as somebody says they want to host a class, we start talking to them about the compensation plan and how to do their structure and where to set up their direct deposit. And you guys, they don't even have any enrollments yet to even need to know about any of that. It's not important. Is that information important at some point when they become a builder? Yes. Is it important right now? No, and it's not necessary and it's overwhelming. We need to get them to step one where they can, are actually hosting, where they actually have an enrollment, right? And then from there, we can gauge, does this person want to be a sharer? Is this something they want to continue to do? Do they want to host more workshops? Is this a one and done? If it's a one and done, there's no point in me even talking about structure, placements, direct deposit, mm -hmm. you know, all this other stuff, compensation plan. All you're doing is, again, going back into analysis paralysis, too much information. It's not what they need to know. And it doesn't matter to them at that point, right? It does not matter to them at that point. They just want some free stuff and they want to get excited and do more. So perfect segue into, so my builder trifold, right? Growing doTERRA naturally. I want to point out some key features. I'm going to start at the back because that's exactly what Mandy just said. So in the take action section, it is super simple. Plus it's customizable, right? So I'm going to warn you for all of you that feel like you have to edit everything and, and make it better. Yay for you. But I repeat, do not, do not add a whole bunch of stuff on here, right? I had some folks helping me proofread and they were like, oh, what about direct deposit? Should they order class in a box? What about their samples? What about their labels? And I was like, that's the perfect example of what not to do when you're launching a builder, okay? Launching a builder is getting someone excited to wanna do the business with you, maybe inspiring them enough so that they will host the class and invite friends. That's it, okay? Because guess what? You know nothing about these people. You know nothing about their capabilities in speaking with others. You know nothing about their level of knowledge about the product. You know nothing about their sphere of influence and how influential they are on others, okay? So all you need to do is help them get started, schedule their classes, right? And have a tool to hand out to people that aren't gonna be able to make it to their class, okay? And give them a script, it's in the sharing, right? Script to invite people, okay? That's it. Because guess what? Most of the people that are gonna host the class are probably not gonna be the one, the builder, right? They're gonna be a sharer, 
They're going to be a one-time hostess, right? The class is where you're going to find out and you're going to know what to do next, okay? Karen they host a class and two people came and it was their mom and sister. Karen right. Romberg had a really great comment here that I want to talk about. She said she was speaking to her upline about a new enrollment and her upline told her that she needs to talk about the business. And when Karen said she feels like it's too soon, her upline asked her, was she afraid of the conversation? Karen, talking about the presenting the opportunity to share and talking about the business are two different things. So telling somebody who just enrolled, I'm so excited for you that you got these amazing oils. If you want to get more products for free, we offer a hostess rewards program. That's a very simple way just to let them know that the opportunity is there, right? If you'd like to build a business like me, it's the same thing. This is a wonderful opportunity that we have. Right. Talking about the business and sitting down and being like, here's how you time block. Here's your class supplies. Here's how you do this. Here's how you structure your team. That is a totally different conversation, right? So I don't know which your upline was meaning. She could have just meant make sure you present the opportunity, right? Make sure everybody you enroll knows that it's an option. It doesn't mean that they have to do it. It just means, hey, I'm so glad that you got started. I know you're gonna love these products. Mm -hmm. If you decide you wanna get more doTERRA for free, you can through our Hostess Rewards program, right? That's it, her, that's as yep. simple as it could be. Her upline is 100% correct. Every person that we talk to should know about sharing and getting free stuff. And if you are following the Zimmer tools and using them, it's in there, right? When you enroll someone, the first thing they do is get, I have my oils now what plus recipes, right on the very front, it says user, share, builder, host a class, get free stuff, build a business. If you're using those tools and you're reading through them, you will be offering the opportunity for people to share or build every single contact or touch, right? Your story when you're doing a class is going to include, here's why I do doTERRA. I'd love to share how you can get free stuff by hosting a class, right? Or even build a business like me. I just presented the opportunity of the business right it's there. Biz sentences. bombs. Two sentences. Two sentences. Biz bombs. That was a presentation of the opportunity for the business, right? It's, it's just like everything else in doTERRA. We hear one word, present the business, and we turn it into something way more complicated than it needs to be, and people run the other direction, right? Presenting an opportunity for people to get free stuff or earn additional income or replace their income. If you use the tools, you won't screw it up, right? That's the key of the Zimmer trifolds is I set it up so that word for word has it. So you don't have to do anything other than read through the trifold with them or say what's on the trifold or screen shoot the panel. Because if you're talking about anything else, you're talking too much, right? So the growing and building trifold helps you get people excited about wanting to do the business. It talks about how doTERRA is different, what makes it special, why they would wanna partner with doTERRA. Why be an advocate? What's the benefits to being an advocate? It explains the business model, which no other tool has done before, right? How many of you we're not presented with the business opportunity and we're not presented with the business opportunity in a way that made sense to you. Not right? at all. It was super complicated. I was not presented the opportunity until after I figured out how to enroll someone by myself. And then it was so confusing and so complicated to me because no one explained it that I sold rollers for four more months, right? I sold rollers for 10 months, which is not the doTERRA business. My Growing, building trifold explains to people what the business is, the doTERRA business model, 
is sharing your story and helping others get their own wholesale account. That's what we do. That's our job, right? How many of you had people join your team, get excited, want to do their first vendor event, and they spent $1,000 on products that they thought they were going to sell at a vendor event, right? It was not, well, actually, I did that too. I did that. I had, had people on my team do that because it wasn't crystal clear in a simple, easy to read tool that I could just send to them how the business model worked. You don't need to stock inventory, right? This is all covered in that single piece of paper, right? Help people, do you wanna get products for free? Do you wanna supplement your income? Or do you wanna build a business like me? What would you like to accomplish in doTERRA? That's presenting the business. Not keep 100 PV in your cart, not blah, 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 blah. Because all that's completely irrelevant. So they actually take action post the class and enroll someone and begin the process. You launch a builder, right? If they've had their class and people actually show up and those people have the ability to speak to others, to work the room and not, you know, sit there clueless, right? Can speak to others. Um, don't monopolize the class and ruin it and talk about a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter. Have people actually show up to their class other than their mom, right? Then you can launch a builder. And to launch a builder, you use the Zimmer FAQ system for builders. And it goes through once again in bite-sized chunks. Step one, this is what you do. Step two, this is what you do. And you add them to that or tag them right in your units or send it to them and help them step by step, right? Not word vomit in one visit. That was my first introduction, right? I wanted to host a class. The person teaching it came over and started talking about power three, fast start, unilevel enrollments, 20%, 10%, 5%, 2% um, through 7%. And when she left, I had a big headache. The um, discussion made me feel dumb. And at the end, I said, no, thank you. I'm no longer interested. I just want you to handle everything. And I would just like some free stuff. When she came to teach the class and I saw that I had like 20 people there and they were all interested, I said, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. But when you talk too much and and you're not listening to your audience, right? Lisa Zimmer said, yeah, I just want to host a class and start a business. I didn't need to know about Power 3. It's completely irrelevant. I haven't even enrolled but one person, right? Don't need to talk about Unilevel. As long as I have 100 PV in my cart because I did enroll someone, right? Stop with the talking about all the things that don't matter. They don't need to order 15 million tools to host a class. Find out what they can do first, okay? But know that, again, regardless of what system you use for teaching, I created the growing building um, doTERRA trifold so that you can edit it, right? The entire section works for every training system. The take action section, you can customize it, right? If you love class in a box, you can add the little edit it to use class in a box. Right. If you like natural solutions brochure, you can edit it to say natural solutions brochure. Right. But the key is don't get this tool and then start giving them 50 million things to do and order on the back panel when they haven't even enrolled anyone or had a class yet. Your goal with growing and launching a builder is to inspire them to envision what doTERRA can be and what it can do for them. Time freedom, get out of a cubicle job, time freedom, be able to pay for a car payment, right? If that's exciting to them. It gives them the tools in one piece of paper to figure out what they want to do next, right? So a lot of people in doTERRA start doTERRA because they want three to $600 a month extra to pay for things 
that would ease some burdens, right? A lot of people in doTERRA started so they could um, make enough for that car payment, make enough for a babysitter, make enough for a cleaning lady. Yeah. Dana Moore Presidential started so that she could make enough to pay for her cleaning lady. I started so I could make enough to pay for my product. It's a presidential and a blue. Um, Season Johnson started so that she could make enough right? I think her goal was 600 a month. That was going to blow her mind. An extra 600 a month was all she cared about. I think that one was for car payment. I can't remember, right? People don't start in doTERRA to be presidential diamond. They, because that doesn't even seem achievable. They start so that they can ease a little burden right now, help them do what's achievable. Okay. When people say they want to build a business, they're not looking to work on doTERRA usually 40 hours a week and have an eight to 10 hour day in front of them. They're looking to get some products free, maybe make a few bucks to relieve a small burden. Yep. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, squeezy. <laughs> right, Vanessa says, I need a cleaning lady and more free product. There you go. Jeanette, yay! So Jeanette France and my friend Jeanette, she's a presidential diamond. She just popped on. She started, she wanted to make more money to pay for medical bills for her son. Now she's a presidential diamond, right? And has been for quite a while. So keep it simple, okay? And remember, there isn't uh, one system fits all. Okay, well, of course, it's in our system. No, I'm totally kidding, right? Because, right, because even my system doesn't answer every single person's problem or desire to build a certain way, right? But I know that. My ego isn't so big that I don't know that. I know that if you want to learn more about building on Facebook, I'm going to refer you to someone who's better at that than me, right? There is no one system fits all. So that's why I create my trifolds so that you can edit them easily, right? But please stop with all this stuff. When someone decides they want to host the class or build a business, there is not much more to give them than this, right? If they're ready for more detail, okay, then you incorporate doTERRA's share guide and build guide. My tools are strategically designed to fit with the doTERRA tools, all right? So you're living naturally, introduction to doTERRA trifold, you enroll them. Then they automatically get the live guide email to them from doTERRA in an email, okay? So my team doesn't have to spend money on stock live guides, okay? All right? You get them to host the class by doing this, right? Host the class, use the Zimmer sharing trifold. The Zimmer sharing trifold is not for hostesses. I'm sorry, the um, doTERRA sharing guide is not for hostesses. The doTERRA sharing guide is for someone who wants to share and start building a business and tells them a whole bunch of scripts and different scenarios, all right? Your average hostess just wants to host a class and get free stuff, folks, and you're gonna grow them into more, right? My tools fit in between, right? Zimmer trifold, give them a doTERRA live guide by email. Don't stock all that stuff, folks. You're spending yourself out of business. Hostess trifold to get a hostess. Want a little bit more information? They can do the share guide. It talks about some more stuff, right? Build a business, Zimmer growing and building trifold. They want more information for the next steps. Build guide talks about and breaks things down a little bit further. Okay, but if someone came to me when I first started and handed me all these books and tried to go through all those books with me, I would not take the next action because I would be so overwhelmed. But if you handed me this and said, okay, let's get started. Here's task one, two, and three. Awesome, let's do it, done. Everyone has ADD today, folks. So if you're not teaching and helping people based on that understanding, you're gonna lose them all together. Oops, there's a chat. Oh, nope, that's just you, Mandy. <laughs> All right, let's make sure I want to answer any questions here. And anything else you want to cover while we're chatting today? 
Oops. Sorry, I have a little one asking me for crackers and hummus in the background. <laughs> oh, you're good. I'm going to talk about the compensation plan just in like two minutes, but um, we're done for this part. Thanks for sharing the story and how simple it was to enroll that waitress by being a product of the product and keeping it simple and handing her a trifle. Yep. All right, guys, I'm out of here for the day, but I will see you guys all soon. Awesome. Thanks, Mandy. Bye. So compensation plan, someone asked me to touch on the compensation plan, right? You do not have to go over the details of the compensation plan to launch a builder. That is a very good way to lose someone because our compensation plan is complicated. Our compensation plan um, is too complicated to explain. Um, in fact, it's so complicated that um, top leaders still have questions about the compensation plan, right? But the beauty is the compensation plan is fabulous, so we don't need to worry about it, okay? Because you're going to get paid when you enroll people. You enroll someone, you get a 20% commission on the PV that they spent, and you get paid 20% commission on the PV of anything they order for the next 60 days. What makes our compensation plan complicated to a new person is lingo and details, okay? That make no sense until someone builds doTERRA full-time, okay? So a new person, all they need to know is keep 100 PV in your cart and order 100 PV monthly, and you get paid. If they wanna know more, they go to your Zimmer FAQ system in your units tab or your Facebook group or whatever, and they click on the compensation plan video that breaks it down for them. I have builders to this day who have no idea how our compensation plan works because they don't care. Because money shows up. You're going to have some people that do care and want to know every single minute detail of the compensation plan. They go to the Zimmer FAQ, they click on the video about compensation plan, and they read it or watch it. Okay? You using your mouth to explain every single facet of this business is not an efficient use of your time, okay? So we need to make sure that we are keeping it simple. You're gonna get paid if you keep 100 PV in your cart at all times and you order a minimum of 100 PV cumulative each month, okay? Beyond that, tag them in the compensation plan videos, right? And then if they do more, if they do more, if they do more, you're going to mentor them. And when the situation arises, you're going to apply it. People always think, oh, I need to explain the whole compensation plan. And they haven't even, their downline hasn't even enrolled someone yet, right? Don't put so much lingo and terminologies into their brain. Fill up that space with stuff they don't need to know yet, right? If they're a go-getter and they want to know more, it's in your Zimmer FAQ, they can keep going. They can go through all 20 posts in the FAQ system, right? And you can go through that with them in the next mentor call, right? But don't try to educate everyone before they even get to the point of being excited about sharing doTERRA. When I say our compensation plan is super complicated, it's because as you grow in doTERRA, there are different things that happen, right? Leaders stop ordering. Um, how do we change them, right? Again, none of that's relevant until that situation, is, situation arises in your business and everybody tries to tell everything, tell everyone everything that they don't need to know yet, okay? That's what makes it complicated. Our, our compensation plan is really pretty simple if you keep it simple. You enroll people, you get paid 20% for 60 days of whatever they order, right? After 60 days, you get two through 7% commission on their orders. And then we have bonuses, right? Compensation uh, or rank bonus and power of three bonus, right? You want to guide your team and educate them as time goes on when those situations arise. All right, I'm gonna wrap up. So super, super, super simple. Stop making it hard. 
please watch this video from the beginning so you can see exactly how Mandy enrolled her waitress, how simple it was. And a reminder, you wanna have these tools in your purse at all time. Print your uh, Zimmer trifolds, living, sharing, and growing, and keep them in your purse in a pencil case. I print them at home, it costs me five cents. This is just hard stock, right? I no longer print through printing service. I use an HP Insta Ink compatible printer and the five cents includes my ink. All my ink is free. I get so much free printing from HP Insta Ink that I was able to give um, tons of free handouts to my entire workshop on Saturday. If you want to know more about my workshops or um, see my workshops in action, make sure and join WWZD7. It's open and still available. And that is on lisasmer.net forward slash shop. You can order that and join us. And um, what else is going on? Get your builder trifolds. Um, make sure you get your hostess sharing trifold, get your um, intro to doTERRA living naturally trifold, have the key simple tools so that you can build this business straight from your bag, straight from your purse, right? My last 10 enrollments, none of them were from class. None of them were even in person. You can build your business um, from anywhere and keep it simple and teach your team how to do that as well. Yay. Happy oiling. Hope everybody has a good week. We'll see you here um, next Monday at noon Central Standard Time. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments and we'll answer them. Have a good one. Bye.